All right, so we're going to talk about valence electrons. Um, we know electrons are the negatively charged particles in an atom. They're the ones that are surrounding the nucleus. Um, but we're going to talk about, more specifically, valence electrons. And valence electrons are electrons in the outermost orbitals, the highest principal energy level. So they're the ones that actually are in, responsible for bonding, the chemical properties of each element, um, so on and so forth. So they're the ones we actually are going to be using much more often as we go on. So let's talk about them. Um, lithium, we know, has a total of three electrons using this electron configuration. So it has three electrons. But it only has two, one valence electron. And the highest energy level is two. And there's only one electron in the second, um, in the second principal energy level. So we're going to say it has one valence electron. That VE is going to indicate valence electrons. Going on to fluorine, fluorine has a total of two, four, ten um, electrons total. However, only um, eight of them, the ones in the outermost shell, the, second, the S and the P, the second principal energy level, are going to be our valence electrons, the ones that are really going to make a difference. So in this case, we have eight valence electrons. OK, fair enough. Looking at gallium, gallium has 31 electrons total. But in the, principal, in the um, fourth principal energy level, it has a total of three valence electrons. Notice that it only has three. This D does not count because it's only the third principal energy level. The fourth is the highest, so we're only going to take the electrons in the fourth principal energy level. In this case, there's three of them. OK, so there's actually a pattern that goes along in the periodic table that tells us about the valence electrons and how we can determine them without having to go through the electron configuration. All right, so if we look at things in group one, he, uh, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, and so on, um, these guys all have one valence electron. If you go to group two, these guys all have two valence electrons. We're going to skip the transition metals because they are all dealing with inner shell electrons, and we'll deal with those another time. But going on to group three has three. Carbon's group, which is group four, has four, so on and so forth, all the way up to um, the noble gases, which have eight. So I can just look at a periodic table and say, OK, um, sulfur is in group one, two, three, four, five, six. It must have six valence electrons. And that is uh, how you calculate valence electrons.